I had the most insane dream this morning that I'm going to submit to you guys to analyze. I dreamt about the neighborhood where my I grew up that was my grandparents house I grew up kind of in multiple houses and that the alley behind the houses across the street from my grandparents house uh, which my grandmother had a friend that lived across there uh, it had did, it did this thing where it was started out as an alley but then became a hallway an enclosed hallway and I dreamt started out being a child where I was in this hallway and would play in this hallway and I had like aquariums with like frogs and turtles and snakes and fish the most beautiful just jet black beta fish Okay, I mean like Instagram worthy beta fish. And they were extremely striking to me because I don't believe I've ever seen a jet bag, black beta fish in my life. I've had a lot of beta fish in my life. They don't have a long life expectancy, but I give mine good lives when I have them. Because I feel bad for them, for them being in places like Walmart and stuff and I'll rescue one from time to time. Anyway, so it's like... I jump forward in time, and I've just literally, literally jumped forward in time. Like, there was no gradually stopping playing in this alley slash hallway. There was none of that. There was, I was a child, and then I was an adult. And I go back to this alley slash hallway, and... All the stuff from my childhood is still there because I had put all this stuff in this hallway because this was like my own private place that I went to play even though it was a public place in this dream it was my own private place like a playhouse almost and uh, I go and where my the house used to be that my grandmother's friend lived it is now a restaurant that you know, it kind of encompasses part of the hallway and the alley, and you know, it 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 uh, works it into the plan of the restaurant. But then it it becomes just this hallway at the end, and not part of the restaurant. And I go, and things change, and I'm like, okay, you know, things change. That's that's life. Things change. And I'll go down to the, go, just go visit the hallway because, you know, I'm feeling nostalgic. And I go, and all the stuff that I'd had in the hallway is still there. It's, it's dusty and, but not real dusty. You know, not dusty enough. And it's aged. And in all the aquariums, all those animals are still there, but they have reproduced. There is like a ton of beta fish, uh, a ton of turtles, a ton of frogs. And the fr original frogs are still there. And this is like, you know, decades later. And they are like, they go from being little tiny frogs to being like big, huge, uh, like giant frogs. Like scary giant frogs. Same for the snakes and the turtles. And, um... All the aquariums with the fish are just overcrowded and dirty, and I uh, am in this hallway, and these young people, like young teenagers, you know, maybe 14, 15, 16, maybe not even, maybe not even 16, uh, come in, and they, like, live in the neighborhood, and they were, like, almost like I had become an epic legend this is the, was the hall of heather because my name was on a lot of things in this place and they had turned it into like almost a museum like i had become somehow larger than life you know what i mean and I'm looking in this hallway, and I'm seeing things that are making me nostalgic, and I'm wanting to take some of them with me, and these kids are objecting. 
and the owner of the restaurant is objecting because he says technically he owns it all and I'm like well, this is my stuff this is my stuff this is my stuff you know and it's like kid stuff there's like Hello Kitty and just all kinds of things that would reference being a child in the 70s and 80s and uh I'm like, you know, if this is your property, why haven't you taken care of the aquariums? And he starts talking about how they eat some of the stuff out of the aquariums, like the snakes and the frogs and shit. And I'm just like mortified because those were my pets. And, uh, and he's like, well, you abandoned them. I'm like, well, I didn't have a choice. I had, you know, I had to move and uh, it, it, it's, it, it's messed up. And then I'm in the hallway with the guy, and he's agreeing, okay, you can take some of the stuff from the museum. And then he, like, has a heart attack. And I'm trying to get him help on 911, and there are problems doing that, and he dies. And, uh, there's an investigation saying that I didn't try hard enough to get him help because I just wanted to take my stuff back and all this stuff in. and it was just so messed up and like the kids didn't want me taking my stuff and they were warned against me for taking my stuff and I'm just like it's my stuff and they're like but you left it this was a recurring thing it's my stuff but you loved it you know and uh, they felt like it was theirs, and the owner of the restaurant felt like it was his, even though he, that part of the property was really unused by anyone other than those teenagers. And it was just so weird. I mean, it was just really so, it was such a weird yet haunting dream. And like, I let the frogs go free and was trying to let other stuff go free but you couldn't do that with the fish so I was trying to take take the fish out and the owner said well you can take some of the fish you can't take all of the fish so, and it was just it was just I, it was extremely mentally disturbing for me and I don't know why because it was such a nonsensical dream but there were so many things about it that were just so disturbing. But at the same time, so many things about it that were so bitter, like, I guess bittersweet. Because they were nostalgic and I was remembering things and good memories and stuff. But it was being mixed in with all this bad stuff. I don't know. Any, uh... Usually I can look at my dreams and kind of figure things out. This I can't figure out. I, I, this this was really kind of out of left field even for my very weird dream life. So, ideas, thoughts? Huh.